we got the Ducks versus Penguins and our first controversial goalie interference call of the year. So the Ducks are going to send a pass out front and keep an eye on Sam Carrick of the Ducks and Eric Carlson of the Penguins in front of the net. They're both going to be battling for position in the crease as this puck kicks out to the slot. Johnston is going to one-time this fella right away here and so Jari, the goalie, wants to push out from his post and directly challenge the shooter. So from this angle, it looks like the duck player, Carrick, is impacting Jari's ability to fully push out. But when you look at the overhead view, it's Carlson who's between Carrick and the goalie. Carrick's positioning does technically block Jari's path to get in front of this puck, but at no point during this play does Carrick actually touch Jari. Jari fails to properly challenge the shooter, and that results in the puck beating the goalie. Now, the call on the ice was initially deemed no goal, which means that they need to find enough evidence to overturn the call on the ice. So when the Ducks decide to actually challenge the call, the refs review and the head office in Toronto takes a look and they stand firm that there is goalie interference on the play, therefore no goal. Now listen, I'm not going to sit here and tell you if this was or wasn't goalie interference, because honestly, I'd be bullshitting. Because like the coaches and the players, I have no clue what actually is goalie interference in the NHL. But when an offensive player doesn't even touch the goalie on the play, it only raises more questions for teams and players about how they can effectively attack the net. That being said, you can technically argue that Carrick's presence in front of the net led to the domino effect of Jari not being able to fully push out. Wherever you stand on it, the consistency of how it's called is what drives everyone nuts in the game. Especially when there's consequences to challenging a call like this. So because this was a no goal, the Anaheim Ducks will have to serve a penalty for losing the coach's challenge. And that's when Anaheim Ducks head coach Greg Cronin absolutely loses it at the ref and instantly starts feeding him all kinds of compliments like, you're such a good guy, you do your job well, that was a fantastic call. You know, the usual stuff to help give emotional support to the ref. But clearly, the ref wasn't exactly feeling the love. So on top of receiving a penalty for a delay a game by losing the coach's challenge, the Ducks received a bench minor for an unsportsmanlike conduct due to the overwhelming compliments from Greg Cronin. Now, luckily, puck don't lie, and the Ducks were able to win this game 4-3 over the Penguins. But what I want to know is what you think about the call. Do you believe it's goalie interference? What did you see on the play? And how do you think this type of inconsistency from the officials impacts how the game is played? Let me know in the comments down below. And if you want to watch more breakdowns just like this and deeper ones on the channel, make sure you click on any of the videos on the screen here and subscribe.